Zulu Uniform India Delta Hotel, there's no overhead mask, uh, airfield inside, so and the traffic inside as well. Zulu Uniform India Delta Hotel, it appears you do not have an overflight landing clearance for heroes. Just to set that out to your briefing before landing, otherwise that will result in two charges. Okay, we'll set back, we we'll apologise. Good morning from the interesting town. I wouldn't say beautiful town of Mariental, but the interesting town of Mariental. Seven in the morning, the sun is just coming up. Yeah, I think what, what time are we leaving today? Nine. Nine-ish. Nine-ish. So it's a bit of a late morning and we're going to depart to Ivanstein, which is near Vintuk. We will probably go for a day trip, lunch into Vintuk and then fly back to Ivanstein. I just hope there's enough fuel. The problem with this Namibia trip is uh, fuel is a bit of a commodity. I think not so much here in Vintuk, but when we get further north, we're going to struggle a little bit with fuel. So we need to conserve which means not as much joy flying. But it's fine, we'll make a plan. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Good morning from Marian Tal. We are packed, fueled, ready to go to our next stop. Eben Ibenstein. Eben Stienenbienen. Ibenstein. And then we're gonna do a day trip into Vintok, the capital of Namibia. We're gonna go to Joe's Beer House. We won't be drinking beer, but we will load some beer in the back and bring it back to everyone who will not be joining us in Vintok. We're like a we're like a taxi service or something. Yeah. Yeah. We're beer runners. Yeah. So let's get to Vintok and enjoy the day. Yeah, rock and roll. Lights are on, temps and pressures are good. Ready to go. Let's yeah. go. Thank you, boy. Some tells me there's a good time coming. Just wait and see. You got to put a little faith in something. Might as well be with me. Are you feeling when the bass starts grooving? The way you These roads are just absolutely gorgeous. It's bad. Oh, they're like professionally graded. They're actually better than the roads in South Africa. Oh, there's buffalo. No, there's a cow. Sorry. Thanks on Thomas. <laughs> okay, we have arrived at Ibenstein. It was an hour-long flight. Very cool flight. Low level again the whole way. And yeah, now we're seeing the real Namibia, I think. Sandy runways, big mountains around us, and yeah, I think the rest of the guys are going to stay here for the rest of the day, and Travis and I are going to head off to Vintuk now. We're going to visit Joe's Beer House in Vintuk, which is a famous restaurant in Vintuk, and then see where the day takes us. I think we'll even do like a mission. We're going to do a beer run for everyone, so we're gonna, we've taken out all the bags and stuff over there. And then we are going to load up the back of the plane with beer and bring it back from Joe's Beer House, which should be a fun little mission. You know, from India, Delta Hotel, there's a cafe, a safari, two crown board. We've got two hours field endurance. We are 20 miles to the southeast of the field. Request your joining the landing, please. Zulu Uniform, India, Delta Hotel, report your departure point here for time and take in Okay, we were reading you pretty badly, sir, but our departure airport was Ebenstein, uh, Fox Rod Yankee, India Bravo. We are two zero miles to the southeast of the field right now. Our uh, estimated time en route to your field is 13 minutes and 30 seconds, and we have got two hours of field endurance, India Delta Hotel. Zulu Uniform, India Delta Hotel, QNH 1028, here in bound by the mast at 7,500 feet to report over the mast. Okay, copy that as QNH 1028, so if you can just give me that altitude again, you cleared your bound to the CTR and pull over to get around the Delta Hotel. That's 7,500 feet. Copy, sir, 7,500 feet in the Delta Hotel. This radio, now this radio is terrible. No, because it is horrendous, but you were saying something about your antenna. See, when I transmit that antenna, life comes on. Something must be wrong. Zulu Uniform India Delta Hotel, there's no overhead mast, uh, airfield in sight, so the traffic in sight as well. Zulu Uniform India Delta Hotel, it appears you do not have an overflight landing clearance for heroes. Just to set that out to your briefing before landing, otherwise that will result in two charges. Okay, we'll set back, we'll apologise. 
Okay, will you be setting it up for brief with briefing, or do we need to turn back India Delta? Hey, Ross Tyler from India Delta, tell us confirm what you'd like us to do. India Delta, tell is orbiting at mast when you're ready to tell us what to do. Good evening from India Delta, I'll be to the runway 01, and we'll put it down to the ground. Thank you, sir. We'll put the uh, final approach on my 01 India Delta Hotel. Sure, we're working for this lunch at Joe's Beers now, so we... They must uh, sponsor the channel, I think. Yeah, with some free beer. Free, free non-alcoholic beer so we can fly and enjoy this sweet, sudsy, hop taste of beer. City Uniform India Delta Hotel, turn a half mile, final runway 01. City Uniform India Delta Hotel, runway 01, between 330360, yeah, man. Land runway is zero one India Delta. Beautiful landing. Zulu Uniform India Delta Hotel. Uh, just to be advised to pocket the apron and then call briefing to sort out your overflight landing clearance because it was not cleared for here, sir. Okay, I copy that. We'll do that. Can we back at your Charlie India Delta Hotel? Hey firm, to continue taxi. India Delta Hotel will be vacating at Charlie and we'll continue taxi. That was nice, so at least he let us land. Oh. Okay, so, spanner in the works. <laughs> we didn't have permission to land at Eros Airport. We obviously called Tower and all that sort of stuff. He cleared us to land. But as part of our clearance or flight clearance into Namibia... It's a flight permit. We only cleared, like, yeah. had per like, permission to go to certain spots. So there's certain points on that permit where we were allowed to go to, but of course we didn't... Yeah. Uh, Amended. include the Eros airport on those points so now we need to go and amend our flight plan unfortunately so let's see what happens hopefully it's not too much of a story but we will sort it out yeah now we're walking all the way from the terminal building all the way to the other side of the airport to go to quite a fancy looking office I must say and I hope there are people there because apparently there's no one there according to one of the ladies but they told us to go there so let's yeah let's see what happens thanks to the amazing people at flight briefing in namibia yeah. we are cleared to land at and we'll not Eros, shot down by and we airport. yeah we are not going to be in trouble with the military and they've even offered us a lift to go back to the terminal which is amazing <laughs> so thank you so much namibian flight briefing Okay, we have arrived at St. Joe's Beer House. Looks pretty good. Looks quite busy, there's lots of cars around. It's a harrowing Eros. Yeah, I experience. definitely need a burger now. Um, yeah, I did. We're finally here at Joe's yeah. Beer House. We need to collect some beer and we need to eat some food. But we have arrived and I think our day is going to go up from here. Oh uh, yeah. It was <laughs> very low. It can only go up from here. Yeah. <laughs> what are we having? Uh, Travis is having the ice spine burger. Did I might go for the pulled beef? They have a crocodile, crocodile fillet. Why don't you have one of those? It's not that delicious. We've had it before. Mm. Apparently, it tastes like chicken. It tastes like angry chicken. <laughs> it was a good pulled beef burger. Travis had the ice spine burger, which is like a made up of all the terror of the airport. <laughs> no, that's like a local. What do you even call it? Delicacy, easy, but it's not a delicacy. It's like a local meal that people have here. And now we're on our way back to Eros. Get back to Ebenstein and just relax after all this uh, stress we've had at Eros Airport. Yeah. So that's us. Let's uh, get back to the plane. So the Uniform India Delta Hotel service wind 340 degrees 05 knots runway 01 cleared for takeoff. Right and turn out after departure leave zone via VFR route to Aris report the uh, city Araba. Okay, clear for takeoff runway 01, right hand turn via far route to Addis and we'll call CTR up on to India Delta Hotel. Lights are on, temps and pressures are good, let's roll. Whew, there we go, that was a lot of fun, right? Yeah, you know what they say, proper planning prevents poor performance. Oh uh, yeah, I think I personally would have turned back and then call briefing and see what the story is.
But he didn't tell us to turn back. No, but he didn't. No, well, he just... We were cleared inbound to the CCR. We were, yeah, we definitely were. The thing is, he never ever told me don't to come here. He was just like, oh, sorry, bro, but you're not actually fair to be here. Like, okay, well, how can we sort that out? Yeah. And then he just went quiet on us. Because yeah. I actually wasn't allowed to orbit. And I'm like, there's a king here on final approach. I'm approaching and they're telling me, oh, you're basically not there to land here. What are you doing? So, like, what do you do? So I think all in all, it could have been worse, as all situations can be a bit worse, but I think we did pretty well. Yeah, and I think also another, like, pretty good lesson learned was that ATC is pretty much there to help you. Yeah. Like, sure, it may sound like they're shouting at you, but they're just trying to get the information correct and then Make it get the right information so they can help you. Yeah. Which they did do it, actually. Yeah. They aren't against us, again, so they need to help us, they need to facilitate air traffic control. No. And I think it was actually a good experience had. I'm more happy that we had the experience than not. Yeah, because now we know, now we're going to be that ever so extra vigilant when going into a CTR. Yeah. Especially in another country, let's say one day if we do Botswana, we're certainly not going to rest on our laurels and, and exactly. then burst into it. I think it could have been, the punishment or at least the situation could have been far more severe. Yeah. But that was fun. I don't know, I never felt nervous. No. Just a little confused. Confused and maybe a bit like stressed, I suppose, because you're not too sure what's going to happen. Yeah, if we, you know. So it seemed like it was taken all in the, in good stead. I think they, they laughed a little bit. At least we're on record. Yeah. But nevertheless, we're flying aeroplanes. Back at Ibenstein, we've already cracked a beer because it was a long and stressful day. So then it's gonna brand cover this. <laughs> and we're gonna call it a day for today. Been we've a tried our best for you, the viewer. A wild, crazy day, but pretty interesting story mm. though. We messed up in a air traffic control zone, but um, we uh, live, we learn. We debriefed, we bounced back. Yeah, and tomorrow's and a new day. Next time we will brief instead of debriefing. Yeah. <laughs>